Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you 10 different types of texters. Let's get started. Let's start off with the two worst types of texters. Number one, the ones who turn off their red receipt so you don't know if they read your message or not. I must know if you read it. And number two, the ones who have those little typing icons going for like 20 minutes and then they only send a little message like, okay. Like you sit there staring at that typing icon for literally a half an hour and then all you get is like one word. What were you doing that took so long to write that and made me think you were typing out like a paragraph? And number three, the emoji freak. These people try to sneak in as many emojis as they can in every single message they send. Some of them even put them between every word in a sentence. Hey, creepy moon face emoji. How's banana emoji? Your smiley face emoji. Dog smiley face emoji again. Doing dog emoji question mark. Why? There is such thing as an emoji overload and it will drive people crazy when you send that many emojis. And number four, the text talkers. These people are the ones who text with as much text talk as they can. For example, they'd say something like G2G, see you later. <laughs> like, why? I feel like I lose brain cells every time someone types like that with every single message they send. Number five, the life storyers. Is that a word, storyers? It's going to be as of today. So when you ask the life storyers what they're doing, they end up sending you a huge paragraph about a, like their life story. Like, girl, I only wanted to know what you were doing right this minute, not every little detail from when you were a fetus till now. Number five, the overly attached toaster. To toaster. <laughs> Number five, the overly attached texter. These people will text you every single hour of every single day, and even though you don't respond, they still continue to message you. You'd think that they'd give up after the 60th message to you in 10 minutes, but nope, they still keep going. What a chin. Number seven, the ranters. These people only text you with the purpose of ranting to you all the time. They never have normal conversations like, hey, how was your day? Or what'd you do at school today? They're more like rant, 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 rant every single time they text you. I completely understand when someone wants to rant to me because they need to rant, but when someone rants every single time they text you, it gets a little annoying. I should just call this video 10 types of annoying texters. <laughs> Number eight, the Instagrammers. I can sometimes be one of these people, <laughs> I admit. These are the ones who always send selfies of themselves or send photos of like anything that they saw that day. They're just like, oh my God, hi, sends a selfie. Wow, look at this rock I'm passing, sends the photo of a rock. Do you feel me on that one or am I the only one with those kinds of friends? And slightly me, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Number nine, the emotionless. These emotionless people never put smiley faces or like the tongue face or any sort of face. In my opinion, it feels like I'm talking to a wall because there's never emotion. So it's like, hi, how are you? Good. I got a puppy today. I'm really excited, even though I don't look like it. Ugh. And lastly, number 10, the pointless conversationalists. Let me just show you an example of what it'd be like to talk to a pointless conversationalist. Hey, hey. What's up? Just chillin', how about you? Same. End of conversation. I get that you're trying to be nice, trying to start a conversation, maybe you're bored, but there's no point to these conversations at all. Unless that was Zac Efron texting you that, then that's okay. So that is all for today's video. Be sure you like this video and comment down below and tell me any sort of textures that you experience, whether I name them or not. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and comment, social media links down below, and I'll see you guys in two or three days. Bye!